So I've been having this condition where every time someone overhypes, overmarkets, or exploits helper, I begin violently vomiting. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my, excuse me. Wow, it must have been another post on one of the 10 billion help-related Instagram accounts. Or maybe some organization from Park City creating a fake board of local members to make them appear like they are not a Park City business? <sighs> okay, well, vomit is a great segue into today's topic of the build it and they will come ideology of good old helper you duck. <clears throat> Before we dive into this topic, I'd like to preface my position and attitude about Helper. Helper is my home. I've lived in cities where gentrification came in and wiped out the wonderful existing culture. Helper has always been a haven from all cruel detachment and cookie-cutter everything that cities and overdevelopment create. Helper and the community that opened its arms to me changed me into a much better person and I am forever indebted to protect this area and this community. Because if what it did for me is still here and available to someone else in the future, that is every bit more worth it to me than your fake smiles, fake friendships, and slimy behind the back tactics to get your way because you see dollar signs when you look at Helper. So in short, I don't care if I upset you. I don't care if I step on your toes or hurt your feelings. I'm not here to make friends. I will fight to make sure Helper doesn't turn into Sugar House, Moab, Mapleton, Spanish Fork, Park City, the west side of downtown, Lehigh, Orem, Provo, Highland, etc. All those places are exactly the same. All the same developments and businesses have overtaken these areas. These are the areas that people are leaving to come to Helper because those areas suck. So if you have escaped those places and come here and you share how much you love the area, you get to go hiking right out of your fucking back door, an elk gave you nux the other day, and a raven brings you shiny shit, you rack, walk around all happy and jolly because Helper is bad ass. Awesome. Good for you. I'm so glad that you get to enjoy this, but help protect it because what we are up against has money and lots of it. Lots of money and they have run out of space exploiting everywhere else. We are next to powerless because there is almost nothing we can do to control the buying up of private land and next to nothing we can do about what they decide to do with their private land. We are also at a huge disadvantage because we are working class. We work 40 plus hours a week and taking on Fighting the powers that be is no easy task with work and family, and they know that. They can plan and scheme all day sipping mimosas while you have to bust your ass at work just to be able to pay rent and feed your family. The people that support this kind of development are two types. Type 1. They are wealthy already, retired, looking for a playground. They are secure in their home and investments. An overdevelopment of this area does not threaten or present the possibility of being pushed out of their home. It does not affect them, therefore it does not matter. They are just excited that there is an ununionized Starbucks on Helper Main Street. Yay! Type 2, which is part of the build it and they will come ideology I spoke about earlier. This type has invested heavily in building, restoration, and owning half of goddamn Main Street. They have invested a lot set themselves up nice and pretty so that when the surrounding area is filled with cookie cutter townhomes and chuds galore they own all the viable retail space in downtown helper their entire strategy is to appear like they are saving our downtown making it pretty but at the end of this they control what those buildings will be how much the rent will be who can rent them and they control the majority of what our downtown our economy our tourism will be. They also have a future wife on city council that will make sure everything plays out in their favor. The other part of this build it and they come mentality is Blackhawk. Blackhawk owns a huge portion of land surrounding Helper, Spring Glen, and Kenilworth. 
Their entire business model is to completely infest these areas with homes in the hopes that this will attract all the puff jacket chuds from up north to come down here and work remotely. This is a guarantee because Blackhawk, out of Mapleton, Utah, has already done this to Mapleton itself. And now, it sucks there! And everyone is looking to escape it by coming down here to be free from it. Not realizing that it will soon become the exact same thing that they are trying to leave. See the business plan there? Develop an area to the point of sucking, fill it to the max, buy more land elsewhere, build on it, offer it as a retreat away from all the suck that they created, and then turn it into the suck. Oh, and make millions and millions, possibly billions of dollars. There's that too. So now for solutions. I think I bitched enough. Do you love Helper? Please leave a comment as to why you love this area. Do you want to protect this area from overdevelopment? Do you want Helper to be owned by the people that live here, not outside corporations? Do you have concerns about the possible rate of growth that could devastate our infrastructure and push out locals? What concerns do you have? If we don't have money to fight overdevelopment, and there is little recourse for the purchasing of private land, what do we do? <clears throat> we organize. I am formulating plans for creating an organization with the goal of protecting rural areas that are especially susceptible to excessive development and private purchasing. If you have concerns about the encroaching development and the protection of our rural areas, please reach out by emailing me at canvasalchemy at gmail.com. I do need help with this. I am totally willing to fight this all alone, but I think that an organization with similar goals would be much more effective. The biggest thing that you can do right now is email commission at carbon.utah.gov and express your concerns about Blackhawks, Kenilworth, and Spring Glen developments. <clears throat> there is more info posted to my Instagram account if you have no idea what's going on there. You only have until February 11th, this Friday, to email, call, or mail the commissioners, so please do so. They will make their final decision on the Blackhawk developments on February 16th. <laughs>